God bless everyone. Today is Deuteronomy 5, Thursday, September 3rd, 2020, 9-3-20. Yesterday we read Deuteronomy 4 and it said Moses speaks to the people of obedience commanded idolatry forbidden the Lord is God and of the cities of refuge the Lord is God Amen amen Deuteronomy 5, the Ten Commandments. Moses summoned all Israel and said, Hear, Israel, the decrees and laws I declare in your hearing today. Learn them and be sure to follow them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us at Horeb. It was not with our ancestors that the Lord made this covenant, but with us. With all of us who are alive here today, all right, under my likes I highlighted, it was not with our ancestors that the Lord made this covenant, but with us, with all of us who are alive here today. I highlighted that because um, it shows like God has a plan and like when he told the Ten Commandments to the other Israelites, he already knew they were going to die. Like he knows everything. So he knew they weren't going to be there. So when he was telling them, he was actually telling the people that, that are getting told today through history. So everything that we're told, all this, everything that goes on in this world, it was meant to be like this for his plan. So yeah, it's just crazy to think about. Like, See, it was not with our ancestors that the Lord made this covenant, but with us, with all of us who are alive here today. The Lord spoke to you face to face out of the fire of the mountain. At that time, I stood between the Lord and you to declare to you the word of the Lord, because you were afraid of the fire and did not go up to the go up the mountain. And He said, "All right, all of, all these commandments are highlighted under important because it's the Ten Commandments." He's repeating it. It was we already heard the Ten Commandments before, but he's repeated Moses is telling the new Israelites. So all the Ten Commandments are highlighted under important. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations for the, of those who love me and keep my commands, commandments. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy, as the Lord your God has commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it, on it you shall not do any work, neither you, nor your son or daughter, nor your male or female servant, nor your ox, your donkey, or any of your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns, so that your male and female servants may rest as you do. Remember that you were slaves in Egypt and that the Lord your God brought you out of there with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Therefore the Lord your God has commanded you to observe the Sabbath day. Honor your father and mother, or honor your father and your mother, as the Lord your God has commanded you, so that you may live long and that it may go well with you in the land you, the, in the land the Lord your God has given you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. 
You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not set your desire on your neighbor's house or land, his male or female servant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Ox and donkey, that's like a car and a, a car and a truck or something, because this is way back in the day, so covet your his ox, donkey, wife, none of that. You're not supposed to covet anything that belongs to someone else. These are the commandments the Lord proclaimed in a loud voice to your whole assembly there on the mountain from out of the fire, the cloud and the deep darkness, and he added nothing more. Then he wrote them on two stone tablets and gave them to me. When you heard the voice out of the darkness, while the mountain was ablaze with fire, all the leaders of, of your tribes and your elders came to me, and you said, The Lord our God has shown us his glory and his majesty, and we have heard his voice from the fire. Today we have seen that a person can live even if God speaks with them. But now, why should we die? This great fire will consume us, and we will die if we hear the voice of the Lord our God any longer. For what mortal has ever heard the voice of the living God speaking out of fire, as we have, and survived? Go near and listen to all that the Lord our God says. Then tell us whatever the Lord our God tells you. We will listen and obey. The Lord heard you when you spoke to me, and the Lord said to me, I have heard what, what these people said to you. Everything they said was good. Oh, hear, oh, that their hearts would be inclined to fear me and keep all my commands always, so that it might go well with them and their children forever. All right, under my likes, I highlighted. Oh, that their hearts would be inclined to fear me and keep all my commands always so that it might go well with them and their children forever. It just shows a lot God's love, you know? Like, he wants, he wants us to follow His commands. He wants us to be happy and our children to be happy forever. That, and it even has an exclamation point. Like, He really wants us to... Uh, he wants us and our children to live happy, you know? It says with the exclamation point showing that he really cares. And then uh, another thing that's interesting is it said, oh yeah, like it says, tell us whatever the Lord your God, our God tells you, we will listen and obey. So that means they really trusted Moses because he could switch the words up like he's going to listen to God because they're scared to listen to God directly. They think they they got fear of the Lord, which is good. That's why God's happy. But so they sent Moses to for to talk to God, and then he brings back the message and tells them, which shows a lot of trust in Moses because he could go get the message from God and twist the words up to make it to you know to use it for his benefits. But they trust him that he'll bring the direct message. Go, go, tell them to return to their tents. But you stay here with me so that I may give you all the commands, decrees, and laws you are to teach them to follow in the land I am going to, uh, the land I am giving them to possess. So be careful to do what the Lord your God has commanded you. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. That's it for today. Good, that was a good one. Keep going. You're doing good. God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. Amen.